All right, let's continue. We've got to turn around. Wait, no, I don't got to turn around. <laughs> We're okay. The dedicated button wasn't working. Okay. There's two more in this area, apparently. Well done, Adventurer. We can see is what she was looking for. Goodness, yes, it's the Dominion Rod you found in the temple. But that thing has been around for quite some time. I can see from here that its magic has been exhausted. Oh, what to do? I thought at least I could return to the sky. And I have completely forgotten the spell that would once again bestow it with magic. It can't be helped. I suppose I'll just have to look for the statues that respond to the rod. It's decided. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do indeed. Well, Uka's on her way. See you again. Hey, wait. What did you do to the Dominion Rod? She's gone. I suppose the useless rod is really just more baggage. What are you going to do? Hmm. Did she just say something about returning to the sky? The last piece of the mirror is also said to be in the heavens. If you restore magic to the Dominion Rod, maybe it'll come in handy. Wait, it's not... Oh. We can't use it right away. Damn, I was going to do some backtracking. I guess there's no point now. Okay. We're going to Talma's bar. Mr. Lunk, I have come to deliver a letter. Three letters, in fact. Jeez. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. About Ilya's memory. Sanctuary in Kakariko Village. Mallow might get the, yeah, the magic armor. You know what? Let's go spend this money first. Yeah. 
since it's daytime. And I'm worried it's going to become nighttime very quickly, so let's just do this first. There's one other thing I want to do real quick. Why, why does this always happen to me? I always miss that jump. Okay, well, I'm, I guess I'm here. Let's just go in. Thanks for your cooperation. Hey, Lunk, buy something. Wait, didn't didn't they say? Hang on. Where's the magic armor mention? Castle Town. Okay, that's why. Well, I guess since I'm here, I'll see the memory. Make sure that bug isn't up here. Doesn't look like it is.
I've found the vast majority of it. Who are you, little human? The young lady's acquaintance? Uh, Lunk, did you hear what the shaman said? No. Ah, I've been waiting for you, Lunk. Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to re help Ilya recover her memory. Do you know Telma's friend, Shad? Well, it seems he is researching the heavens, and he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. And as I have learned, when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the Rod of Heaven, something like that. The Grand Elder believes that to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together fragments of her past, which means if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find something that will restore it. Now we must retrace Ilya's path. I am certain it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived at the village, was it not? It would be best to speak with her first. Okay, a letter. Which shames me to say it, but honestly I cannot abide Telma's company. We have a fighting chance, Lunk. Oh no. I'm glad I didn't go here first now, because I needed the letter. Okay, so the, these shops should now not be a ripoff. Hey brother, do you have a red potion? No. What gives? Or did... No, they must have set up shop somewhere else. to have set up shop somewhere else. Hang on. I thought they were going to run these Gorons out of business. Sightseeing or on business? Wonderful town. Okay. I wonder what they set up. Alright, so that's that, but where is... Where is Malo Mart?
Oh, yeah, see, that's something I need to look into. <laughs> you can pet the dog. Greetings and salutations, good sir. Welcome to the kingdom of hopes and fondest dreams. In this place, you can taste the life of a circus star and get your hands on gear that boggles minds. It is our earnest hope that you find delight playing the star game. Rules are exceedingly simple. So all you must do, endeavor to do, is track down all the glowing orbs and collect them all before the time runs out. Heh, <laughs> rather outstanding name, I must say. Step right up. Shyness be gone, it's only 10 rupees. Who's up for the challenge? Many thanks, good sir. The game will begin once you enter the cage. Good sir, you have to ready? Then away we go. I can use... I can, okay. This might be something where, uh... Oh shit. I ran out of time. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do it quicker this time. missed that. <laughs> There's a particular path I need to take. Last one. Yeah. Oh. Impossible. Uh huh. What a happy day. The debut of a new star. Showers of applause all around. So, Sai, she'll give you this. Okay. I would expire should you decline. Short hiatus. Okay. Yeah, it's him. <laughs> we are a star now. Oh yeah. Okay, the star game created with you in mind. Special arena, fifteen. Yep. Okay. Oh no, the spikes. I can't do this one yet. This one requires a double. Yeah, this was a mistake. This requires a double hook shot. Like, what a dick, honestly. <laughs> I mean, if you look at what he's done. Oh, 
I wonder if this is even remotely possible. I mean, with just a single. Definitely need a double hook shot for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be back. I mean, at least I got the bigger quiver. <laughs> Welcome to the Fortune Telling Towers for Nadi's place. The fates swirl about you, and I can and only I can tell what they have in store. Okay. Good, so which door? Love? Heart pieces. I will show you the shape of love you haven't even recognized. Speak fates. Wait, loading. <laughs> That's what it says backwards. I see. Farron Woods. Yeah, I know what that is. Go to the spot and do something. I do remember this game having a useful fortune teller, so. I already knew about that one though, we need the rod to be back in commission. Shad is in Kakariko Village now. Okay, um, first... Ooh, well, if it isn't from Renato, the shaman. All this writing and he doesn't bother to mention a thing about little old me? Honey, that is what I call rude. Well, there's no accounting for the foolishness of a man. And at least I understand Ilya's situation now. Of course I can lend a hand for that adorable girl. Hmm, what else do I know? The first one to bring Ilya to this shop was that doctor. Maybe he knows something. But he's crust he's a crusty old bat, okay. for sure. I got it, honey. You go ahead and take this to him. This magic little paper will get that codger talking. An invoice? <laughs> it sure would be nice if she started remembering things soon, eh, Lunk? Is this blackmail? Just like, oh, hey. Help me out or pay your bill. Pick one. I can't pay this off right now. I can see Telma's hired you as some sort of heavy 
to strong arm me, but you'll have to wait. Look, lad, if I had been able to sell the wooden statue that young lady had, I would have been able to get more money. But see, I accidentally spilled medicine all over that little carving, which made it stink awfully. I put it outside to dry, but then, well, it was stolen. Who goes around stealing people's stuff like that? What a world. You always have to be on guard, huh? Uh, look, Mr. Heavy, at any rate, neither the money nor the carving is here, so I can't repay you. Now, to work. To work. Your press isn't a little bug, eh? Can't rid of that medicine stench. Right, I can't get rid of that medicine stench. Still assumes I'm, I'm like a human. Oh, there it is. scaring a bunch of people. <laughs> I kind of figured it would be the cat. You're looking for the wooden statue that Illy had, aren't you, dear? I think... It's a coincidence that I happen to know it got stolen from the doctor's place, no? Yeah, so I'll admit it, I took it, but then I was attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beast that took it from me. I don't know why those beasts were after her statue. I thought likely that she was in a dangerous spot, though. Those fiends lurk outside the southern gate. Unfortunately, they only come out at night. And another thing, they always move around as a pack, so you won't get the statue back unless you give them all a thrashing. That statue sounds like a key to getting Ilya's memory back. You must get it back. Oh. So I kind of turn back to human. Leave town for a while? That's annoying. So we're doing the pretty incognito. Clear now. Oh. Hey, look, brother, the way is now clear, just as I promised. I do not know where you're headed, but be careful.
just it's about to turn night time, so. I still didn't find the Mallow Mart. I'm gonna look. Hey, welcome. Or rather... Okay. I'll find it. Music. You'll buy it now if you're smart at Mallow Mart. Welcome, welcome. Grand opening sale going on now at Castle Town Mallow Mart. 20% off, 30% off, of course, why not? We look out for you, the hero of discounts. That is us, Mallow Mart. Buy it now if you're smart. Make a selection using. I felt like that should have rhymed. 598 rupees. Thank you. Your rupees will become magical. Yeah. I will buy the stamp. I'm also going to go back to these. Reorganize your items in return. <laughs> Tell it to me! I'll take one, I'll take one. I don't really want one, but I'll take one, by gosh. Magic armor acquired. Now I can... do this. Up now the pair. Okay, north of Kakariko Village. Hyrule Castle. <laughs> In the desert? Alright, there's another desert one that I need to get. I think I've done pretty well. That's it. That's all of them for now. 
she didn't threaten me this time. Oh, they all have Malo Mart shopping bags. <laughs> Just noticed. be Flying out of nowhere. Okay. It's not what I was trying to do. What is this? I remember something. I was confined somewhere, yes. I was saved by whoever was confined with me. And when that person set me free, they gave me this statue. Yes, I remember that much, but that means that person is still in trouble. But what's wrong with me? I can't remember where that place was. I remember. I thought I had seen that before somewhere. That belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place, but I heard that tribe dwindled in the prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to the Lanero province on the far side of the Bridge of Elden. But a rock slide blocked the way to the village long ago, so you can't get there anymore. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, I don't, do not mean to worry you, little human. Problems like that are not problems to Gorons. <laughs> Our patriarch Darbus will be waiting for you up ahead. Look at your map to see where. I will try to find the path beyond the bridge of Elden that leads to Lanero province. You can probably track down the missing bug as well. It's at north of Kakariko village, so I can go there now. going to be somewhere in this empty field. Yeah. 
reach that from here. I'm kind of surprised I can't. I guess not. We'll have a look. Since I'm here. Yes. All right. Hey, nice. I have a welcome wagon. I think this is the one I already have. Hey. Yeah, this is the one I already have, so I need to find the other one. I wish it wouldn't stick around.
Fernseher waren. Last one is Northern Hyrule Fields, which, well, that I know of. I have to go back to the desert as well. I think I'll save that once I have the final hook shot. Ninety percent certain I got that one. Same with that one. It takes so long to get off the horse. There's a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders call it a forgotten place. The scent that has been burning my nostrils, it is the scent of evil. There's one powerful creature I have seen about, but under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are 30, no, at most 20 of them ahead. They are probably just a small band of survivors, ragged remnants who have settled leaderless into this village. If that is all there is, little human, then you are alone, hang on, you alone are more than enough for them, but you will have to defeat them all to save the girl's benefactor. Before you go, I will tell you the secret to besting them. Destroy them all on the spot before they spot you. Got it, little human? Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this was cool. It's like a western. And the music as well. A snipey boy.
is very different. <laughs> Nothing like any other Zelda theme. That's annoying with controllers. <laughs> By the time I line up the shot, they've already hit me. sound but I'm not sure where it's coming from. Can't we do that now? It's right there. of the beast that faded into silence. Wait, are you? The savior, it's you, the savior. Please, please forgive me for not opening the door. My name is Inpez. I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the great one who built this village so long ago. This village was once the secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family. But it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is your name Lunk? Ah, I knew it. So then you saved that nice girl. How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. That sweet girl. She worried about this old woman even as I helped her to escape from here. By royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives, no matter how terrible fate is visited upon it. But, listen to me blather on. I have a favor to ask, would you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to heart, but even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. Okay. I believe in my heart that it's kept me safe this time. So please, I ask that you return it to that girl. Yeah, I'm not leaving here just yet. Oh, 
That was weird. <laughs> it's a dodgy way of revealing it. the last one, I think. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. <laughs> At the actual castle. I think I can go there. Scare someone who? What on earth? There's no one here. Oh, okay. What do you mean? We're out of view. How would someone get sad? Scared? I, I don't believe this for a second. Still not allowed, apparently. Weird. Okay. But I mean, there's a chicken there for a reason. So you got Link across a, 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 a gap. Then how do I... Maybe this is nothing. I'd need to be able to get the chicken onto high ground.
I guess I should see what I'm even attempting to go for here. Oh no, okay, I think I, I think I know. Go inside this building, this has stairs. <laughs> oh, what? Why would you do that? I'm starting to get the feeling this might be nothing. See a chest. Kind of surprised. I thought for sure there'd be something hidden here. Have a proper look around, but doesn't seem like there's anything. Unless it's directly above here. Chicken would be the only way across, but I, I don't see how this would make it. I tried. Unless it's from here, which... I'll try one more time. It just bothered me. bothers me. Why is there a chicken here? Hey. 
No, it's too low. This is the closest I can get to getting across, but it just doesn't work. Alright, I'm leaving. Can't say I didn't try. Yes, this feels so familiar, the scent of hay. Long ago, when we were young, you and I, you were always there, you are always beside me. Lunk. <laughs> Majestic. This gift was meant for you. It was something I wanted to give you before you left on your journey. Please, Lunk, take it. The horse call. Ilya made this just for a pona. You don't need to worry about me any longer. Whenever you return, I'll be waiting for you. Do you remember what I was saying about the Rod of Heavens? Well, actually, it was about the messenger to the heavens who held the rod. The nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently, this in this woman's village, they've guarded something for the heavenly messenger for generations, so they await him. But they can't give him this item until the messenger arrives with the rod, so that's why the lady couldn't leave her village, you see. Say, Lunk, do you have any idea who this messenger to the heavens might be, or what the rod is? Ah. <laughs> Gotta go back. I bet if I had shown the rod then and there, it probably wouldn't have sped this up.
No, 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 nothing to see here. No destruction of town property going on here. Just waiting for me that time. Probably leave the horse here. Or at least be prepared to get off it now. Do something fun with us. Ask the cooker leader about it. Ah, oh, this is what it is. Let's find all the cats. Oh, welcome. This is the Forgotten Village. 30? No, more like 20. That's how many cats have made it back to the village. So perhaps, you know, just play with them? Yeah? Thanks so much. They're all so lonely. Perhaps you could even talk to every one of them. But if you leave the village, it'll be like you never talk to them. Cats are forgetful. Let me give you a tip for speaking with all of them. Start at one end. Got it? Okay. <laughs> the music as well. Yeah, what fun. First. Make sure none of them are like in a weird spot. Just making sure.
apparently I can't jump across that way. on here. That's weird. God, what is with this? Doesn't let you up that way. I think I need to use long distance talking to do this one. against oh maybe not i just kind of assumed you had to stay in the wolf form but i guess you don't okay now this oh no but see i can use the chicken now to get across of mind. I really wish I wouldn't follow you around like that. Nineteen. 
Where's this last one? Oh, you know what? I think I know where it is. I thought maybe it would be up here. Much like the, uh, the cobblins. This is the last one. I need to get to another tricky spot. already bored. Okay, they're not on the roof. I can see that much. this lost cat. Did I just miss it? I thought I was pretty thorough, but apparently not. Oh, there we go. Talk to all of them, thanks. Now your prize is in front of the old lady's house. Be sure to pick it up before you leave. Okay. Hey, nice. Is that the Dominion Rod? Ah, could it really be? Are you the messenger to the heavens? Among the legends of my clan, there is a story from the time when the Urka still maintained contact with the royal family. Yes, it is said that a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky, and it was called the Dominion Rod. The rod was only to be carried by the messenger of the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate with the Urka. From generation to generation, my ancestors guarded the book that by royal decree, was given to the messenger to the heavens. This is that book. Please take it. What time is it? Ah, uh, it's just 1pm now. 
This is the book written in the ancient language of skywriting. I'm so glad I stayed in this village. If I had not met that young girl, what would you, what would have become of me? Meaning that girl must have been ordained by the gods so that I could be here today to pass on this knowledge. <laughs> you can pick up the cats. <laughs> yes, I was meant to pass on that book. Please take care of yourself. All right. Yeah, I got up early to progress more on this, as there's still quite a bit to go. Okay. I knew I remembered using that chicken to fly across a gap. But I guess it was in the context of finding the cats. Alright. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's nothing. Okay. Um, before I continue, give me a minute. I'm gonna go turn on the air conditioning. Because it's starting to get, uh, very, very hot in here. The temperature's, like, gone past 30 degrees. <laughs> I need to go turn it on. Be back in 30 seconds to a minute. still gonna get warmer it's just it's kind of hit the point where to be comfortable i need to turn it on it's gonna hit 36 today or uh i think that's like 98 fahrenheit if i'm doing the math all right i went past where i was supposed to be going but this time of year kind of disgusting because it's, it's like almost april <laughs> and it's not meant to be this hot anymore but yeah. Ah, such is summer here. Is that Shad fellow down? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The statue. 
Oh my, color me surprised. If it isn't Lunk. What a coincidence meeting you in a place like this. How very odd. Say, old boy, do you remember what I told you before about the legend of the sky beings known as the Uka? Yes, well, there's been... So there's something about it that's been bothering me. So I came here to snoop about. To think you would appear with such perfect timing. You really are a rather extraordinary fellow, aren't you? I found it at long last. Observe this statue. It's the same as the one in the manuscripts my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule, but this one seems to be different. Look at its belly. There's something written there, you see. This too was in my father's notes. It is called Skywriting, I believe. Awaken us with the word that breaks the seal. Yes, indeed. That is what it says. Wait a moment. Isn't that Ilya a friend of yours? It's simply tragic how she lost her memory. And that rod of heavens she mentioned, I'm sure it has something to do with the word that breaks the seal. Hmm, isn't there any way to restore her memory? I'm certain it would help us figure this all out. Had your non-boyfriend co-worker in this company apartment like by you? They had the stream audio low, so I didn't hear what time it is. Left now. Um, it's like 1 p.m. It's also uh 36. It's gonna be 36 degrees in terms of heat today. So I just had to go turn on the air conditioning real quick. It's like I think that's 98 Fahrenheit if I'm doing the math right, which for this time of year is kind of disgusting. You have whiteout blizzard conditions where you live, which is not right for this time of year, right? Like... I guess if I'm having a heat wave, it kind of makes sense that on the other side of the world it would be the opposite. But normally this time of year, it is not this hot. Oh, I have to show the book. Alright. No response? Okay. I have to show Shad the book. <laughs> Usually got storm stuff. Ah, okay. I hear, I mean, by this time of year, it's like comfortable. Oh. What's this? Ah, it's skywriting. Where in the blazes did you get this? You don't suppose this could be the word that breaks the seal? Right, let's try it out. No reaction. So, it is not this statue. Ugh, Lunk. Thanks ever so. You have brought me one step closer to solving this puzzle. I should give this book back to you. Now, I shall try out this word on other statues. I have made the rounds of these statues so many times that I have memorized their locations. I'll place Mark on your map so you can find them. Come find me in case you have questions. Remember, every one of those is near a now statue. We had a negative 10 Fahrenheit morning a couple of days ago, that was not normal. I, I can't imagine how that would be like. That would be like how your face would be hurting going outside. Oh, there we go, we got this back. The writing on the book was a spell that imbued the staff of magic. Now you can do the other statue to the other statue that you did before. So, he did say he would mark your map wherever there was a statue, didn't he? Then we should go check these spots out. What? No. What did I do that for? Sometimes the air feels spicy. That's certainly not a, uh, description I would use for air. No, oh, I get the description of like, it just feels like an oven outside. <laughs> okay, we got places to go. I think this, this section 
to get to the next dungeon is pretty long, so... I know where some are already. There's one in Farron Woods, so... And there's a heart piece associated with that. We'll go to that one first. I'm kind of hoping I get through this this weekend. That'll, that'll be the aim. Because then I've done a pretty fair effort. As this is one of the longer ones. Then I guess it's on to the DS ones, I think. I think Phantom Hourglass is next. leads to the chest that I couldn't open before, so, which is a heart piece. Hey, okay. I've been pretty on top of the heart pieces. Okay, well that's all good now. Found one Sky character. Okay, there are others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been playing Oracle of Ages and it feels like a proper Zelda. It is a proper Zelda. Like, that's the crazy thing is it was made by Capcom, but so was Minish Cap, and Minish Cap was on the same level. Minish Cap was made by Capcom as well, yes. So they made the Oracle games and they made the Minish Cap. Kind of bizarre, but it's true. <laughs> You can kind of tell because some of the terminology is a little bit different. Like instead of saying Hylian, they'll say Hyrulean and stuff like that. You like how in my playthrough I lost my mind twice in like five minutes? Which one, Minish Cap? I feel like that just happens often. In ages. Oh, the... yeah. The dancing thing was once. I'm trying to think what else happened. The bombing... oh wait, the mini game with the boomerang. It was like the dance thing and then it was the, the mini game trying to get the boomerang. With the uh... yeah, yeah. But that's the thing, I do, rem I do remember that. 
I mean, even the first time I played it, I do remember that's what happened to me. Not realizing I already had a sword. And then the guy s said they hadn't seen any knights in Ah! Oh! Yeah, that was stupid. Yeah, that was, uh, that was quite the start. There was no indication that I had the sword, because I guess it was just a habit of Zelda games not having your sword. That, N that NPC should have been swapped with that one that was later, that explained it better. The other one talking about, yeah, that, that nighttime hadn't happened. That NPC made sense, because contextually it was like, okay, it explains everything. But the one at the start just made no sense, like I thought it was a puzzle. How you do this one? Like I'm almost positive I need to. No, but see, I can't. It needs to be in a position where I can get across. Okay, hang on. I need to get it so I can still hit it. It's refreshing to play the older games because those games don't give a fuck if you get stuck. <laughs> it's a positive because it teaches you critical thinking, but it's also a negative. Because, man. <laughs> they, will, they will drive you insane. Three hours before realizing you could push around the pots on one on a button. <laughs> hey, I with this one in particular, it was only yesterday that I I found that this version of the game has a, a button on the touchpad you can just press to transform into the wolf and back. So I don't have to open the menu every time. There's a dedicated button to transform into the wolf. Control didn't work out. No, it works out. I'm just because the touchpad it still shows you the map, and then I saw it in the corner of it. I was like, wait, what's that? Like, oh, there's there's a there's a button I can just press. So I'm using the pro controller, and then when I want to transform into the wolf, I just like on my desk press the button. <laughs> that was not worth the time, but okay. Alright, since I'm here, there's a bug still to find, so I'm gonna do it. No oh, guy that hates Majora's Mask and quit because he kept getting stuck on things. Yeah, I mean, that game... Definitely you have to pay attention to what's going on. There's certain things where... The, 
like for the heart pieces in particular, I had to look up a guide. But for the story, I, I think I did a good job in terms of knowing what to do. It's just some of the side quests are so cryptic. There's, there's one that I don't think I ever would have figured out on my own. I mean, it's fine because I don't see anything wrong with getting hints. It's kind of the same when you would get stuck in a game back in the day and then you would ask around with friends if they had clues. That's how you would figure shit out. The 3DS version has a help gossip stone. No, but even then... You never would have thought to give the per clock to the mailman in in Wait. Oh, I, yeah, okay. Oracle of Ages. Kids needs to suffer like we did. I just love watching someone play a retro game that didn't grow up with them. Especially when the game doesn't do autosave or when you die or have a game over, it kind of puts you back somewhere really far back and then it's always just this look of horror. Although they didn't save the game, <laughs> their progress is just gone. Whenever my parents would uh, like be like, stop playing, the common phrase was always, wait, 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 let me, let me get to a save point. Because, and it was so stressful, because you'd be doing everything in your power to try and save the game, but of course they would be getting more and more impatient, thinking you're just making up excuses to keep playing. But it was like, no, no, please, just let, let me get let me get to the save point, otherwise that's like all this progress lost. It's like, it's like a couple of hours gone, just please. Bosses of unskippable cutscenes, and yeah, I mean, if you want that, Oracle of Ages is certainly good at that. The final boss in that is kind of bullshit. I mean, the true final boss. It's, what, like four phases? And then getting there is kind of a nightmare. Oh, another one. Okay. Whoa, there's two in here. I got it. I regret not starting a playthrough of safe safe on 3 yeah, for that reason, dying and then having to go through that dungeon back to the room. <sighs> that was the other thing about Majora's Mask was like, if you ran out of time, it means you would have to beat the boss again. I think that's the part that I didn't like, was... The backtracking in that game was painful, just because in certain, under certain circumstances you'd have to go fight a boss again. Because it would undo whatever the result of the boss was. What? Or 
Or if you used all your items and then died, it wouldn't give you what you started with. Yeah, that's true. I always just found what it chose to keep between runs was kind of very selective. Like the, the, just an arbitrary line in the sand was drawn with certain items. Like, yeah, these these persist. These persist. This item, nah. I still like the game. I mean, I played it for the first time last year with this whole, like, Zelda thing, but I still enjoyed it. I think the way I feel about it is the adventuring in it isn't as strong, but I think when you compare it to Ocarina, the, the areas seem much more handcrafted, if that makes sense. Like, Ocarina had kind of grand ideas, but then because it was on the N64, you kind of ended up with these empty areas. Whereas in Majora's, the maps are a lot smaller, but they feel more detailed as a result. Like, they're handcrafted. And I think, yeah, they're good. Characters are more developed too. Yeah, that as well. But I, I do remember it being jarring. I had a friend that loved Ocarina, bought Majora's, and then was kind of mad because just... Majora's was frustrating. But it's one of those things, like, it's just... If you don't enjoy games that involve investigation and following a thread... ...then you're gonna prefer Ocarina, otherwise it's the other way around. Like, Ocarina set the standard for the 3D games, but I, I feel like Majora's the better game. That's just my opinion. I'm trying to find the other bug. While I'm here. Okay, hang on. I may have already done this, let's see. There's already a few slime caves, so... I don't know if this is the same or what. There's anything else to do here. Okay. But I mean, as far as 3D Zelda go, I mean, it's this one and Breath of the Wild for me. It's not to say Ocarina's bad. It's just the ones that I prefer. All around for this bug. You know, when I play Metroid, I've got in the comments so many times people telling me to use the charge beam. Oh, it disappeared. Shit, it's daytime. But it's kind of the same as this, right? Like, when there's an item nearby in Metroid Prime, 
it's making a pretty subtle sound. So if I, I find if I have the charge beam going constantly, it's just harder to hear that sound. So that's why I don't use it. And it's just kind of the same here. Like, I'm not using the charge on wolves. Like this. Because then I can't hear, like, the little sparkle sound. Saw me jumping at items instead of picking them up. Yeah! And it's not because I don't know the charge beam exists. That's not it at all. It's, I want to be listening out for that sound that there's an item nearby. And because the, I guess the charge beam, like... I don't say... I don't think it has a similar sound. I think there's a bit of a sound overlap. So it's harder t to hear it, at least for me. this bug. Making sure it's not here or something. Uh, I may have already gone in here, but let's just for the sake of sanity. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, it's just the rocks came back. Okay. Kind of just following the edge of the map. See, I shouldn't be following the edge now. Now I need to get across here. Is there really no way back across this other than through that? not. I did use the ball and chain, so hang on. Does the ball and chain not work? Doesn't? Okay. I gotta go get a pig. Has always been your least favorite in Zelda. They're 50 50. They can be 50 50. I find that in Zelda games, just anything associated with water is generally like a nightmare. I mean, maybe in terms of enemy type, but in terms of the dungeon, it's not too bad. It can be way worse. Ah! Did you 
Nick Foley enjoyed Breath of the Wild's water region. The Divine Base for Breath of the Wild was definitely the better one. But I wouldn't call that a water dungeon. Like The base were mechanically the same dungeon. Flip, flip a switch and then make the base do a certain thing. It was the same thing every time. But the uh, the sequence with Sidon and getting to the base, yeah, that was cool. Definitely more enjoyable than the fucking desert town that you keep getting kicked out of despite helping them later. Like at the start, I I get it. You know, we're a stranger. But after we've helped them and proven ourselves and we know the, their leader, like, we still get kicked out of that town, which is not cool. Like, that's, that's the thanks we get? Really? You know... Every time, every now and then, I, I open up my Switch. And there's this screenshot that I took. Uh, when I was playing Breath of the Wild. There's a few that make me laugh, because I've, I've forgotten about them. But one of them is, um... I somehow got my, I somehow got Link's body stuck inside a desert watermelon while talking to an NPC. So it just looks like a watermelon with Link's head. Just standing in the desert with an NPC. And then another one where it's just um, this bull's ass sticking out of a, a rock. It got stuck. So it, its head is inside the rock. And its ass is just sticking out. <laughs> I wish I could get those screenshots off the Switch. I think I have to link, link it to Twitter. We have a dramatic screenshot of the word egg from Link's Awakening. That's a good one. In Oracle of Season, I named the child Ponus. So then they would say, I hope Ponus grows up to be strong. And then I completely forgot about it, and when I played Aegis, Ponus is now fully grown. When I, I played Seasons last year, so... I forgot I did that, and then, yeah, it came up again. I got a chuckle. I haven't seen this bug. I wonder if I should just, just look up the location. Doesn't matter what order you play the games in. Ah, uh, no. The link code... Pretty much it works. I think there's a there's a recommended way, like I think you're supposed to play Ages first. If I recall. But you can do it either way. Like it, it ends up in the same thing. You'll eventually get the true fight once you finish the second game. Okay, I don't want to be running around this desert forever, honestly. Um, Twilight, Princess, Bug, Gerudo, Desert. Where are they? Golden Bugs, thank you. And where are they in the Gerudo Desert? Gerudo. Head to the exact center of the southern area. And the other one is near some trenches in the southeast corner. Wow, that really does not help. There's like this tiny screenshot, so hang on. Okay. Head to the exact center of the southern area. And then the other one is... Southeast corner. Which is here. 
I think this is the one that I found. Trenches in the southeast corner or smack bang middle. The cannon order is seasons to ages, but to 100% the game you must do both ways. Seasons to ages, seasons to ages, ages to season. Oh, because of the link code and then those gems you get, but I don't think you get anything that special from it. At least I don't know. I did seasons to ages because I played seasons first. I think this is the one that's smack bang in the middle. So hang on, which one have I found? I have found the male. So the female is in the trenches in the southeast corner. Okay, some trenches somewhere. Like, I think the ending is still the same, it's just the concept of 100% and collecting everything. I'm selective with my, my 100%. hate these things, I truly do. These are the trenches it's referring to. There it is. Piss off. <laughs> Stupid things. They like the sh they like the sharks in in Wind Waker. They just don't they just don't stop, and they just follow you for eternity. Right, I'm going to go get the other Poe since we're here. human link and then wolf. No, alright, it comes to me. Also check uh, up here because there's still another four apparently. I, mean, I think I was here during the day, so it might explain why. Yes, that's not why. still more here. I just want to be sure. Alright, straight ahead. I'm pretty sure there's a couple here too.
No? Hmm. Okay. Thought for sure I'd be right. Okay. We are going to the bridge somewhere. There. Oh shit. I think that's low ground, Hylia. I need to get to high ground. Yeah, this is low ground. <laughs> it's okay, I'll use the cannon. over there. There are 19 in this area. Oh yeah, there's one on the platform. I do remember that one. Whoa, camera, what are you doing? I mean, since, since I'm there, anyway. the kill. I think at this point it's just easier to just walk back. By the time I get across the river. I should just do this. It's quicker. And it'll guarantee that I get the kill. Oh no. I may have to land up here. Can I... Okay, hang on. so annoying. Uh, alright. I don't know how much time I have, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna be annoyed if by the time I float down, daylight breaks. Oh no, it looks like that's gonna happen. Hi. Okay, let's go, we just gotta go. Ah! Daylight's gonna break.
No, come on. Is it still there? It's currently still there. Okay, hang on. Let go. No! Ah! Dude. This is what's so tedious about these things is the fact that you can only do it at night. I would have thought this item would let you fight him during the day or something. Uh, so we have a, we have a choice. I can either come back later, or I can kill time here. Wait, wait like a minute. I can't remember how long a day-night cycle takes, but... That's so annoying. It'd be fine if it would engage me, like if I was down there and it would attack me, that's fine. But the fact that I have to cl I have to shoot myself, it... Does time even pass? Well, it just did, so... I mean, otherwise, when I got here, it would have just frozen. It's kind of funny because I had the vaguest memory of sitting on this particular platform waiting for nighttime. Just the vaguest memory, because I remember the hunt. The heart piece hunt wasn't the frustrating thing about this game, it was the Poe hunt. Because it had to be nighttime, and there's no way to, uh, to fast forward time. Which I'm surprised. All right. In the original, I get it, but in this one, I would have thought they would have done some quality of life stuff, like around this. I mean, they have in the sense that you know how many are in each area, like they have the indicator now. So that's super useful. So I have, after this one, eight remaining. But this is annoying. Link's eyes moving unnerve you, do they? Where's... There you go. <laughs> I can't do an extreme. Oh, geez, what are you looking at? Why are you looking down? <laughs> What's his idle animation? Okay, let me refill my water bottle then. I'll sit here, and we'll talk about stuff. Because I feel like either way this is going to happen, unless I'm here at the crack of, like, night time. No, see, time is passing. Look, there's the sun. By the time I go refill my water bottle and come back, I think it'll be okay. It's already midday, so I think we'll be cool. All right, let me refill my water bottle. I'll be back in a minute.
how are we going with the progression? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> maybe not... Maybe it didn't go as far as I'd hoped. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean... We can see. We can have a look around as well. Oh. <laughs> Obstructing my view. Wait a minute, what's... Right over there. It looks like I can land. I can land there. Hey, <laughs> what is that? The chicken that I used to get down here? That's just having a nice casual swim. But um, that's interesting. That'll either be a wolf spot or a heart thing. Anyway, uh, pretty close. Link's eyes in this game are, are a bit weird, though. I will admit that. Sometimes his face just has this weird... I don't know how to put it. It just, it doesn't look right. <laughs> Not as bad as Skyward Sword. I'll have to... I'll have to remember how that looks like. I should try and get the screenshots off my Switch. But I got... I got some stank Link faces on there. Okay, it's almost night time. Aww. I just don't, I don't want to forget about this, you know? And since we're here... Lantern did, did, didn't really do much. Any second now. Any second now. There we go. Gotta be careful not to dive. Okay. Is that another one up there? I think it is. I can see another one. Let's get, go get it. May as well, since we're here.
Oh. I saw it. I saw it for a brief sec. Where I need to land over there, or at least that little alcove. There's a po there. You can see it. Alright, so we have to do that. Hopefully it doesn't do the same as last time, but I should be okay. It's the start of the evening. I love when Link does a diving animation when it's not completely safe to do that. Almost went head first into that, uh, yeah. Hopefully this will be something, and not a stamp. Oh. It's been a while. not be a step. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean... I guess I got a refund for all that money I spent. Let's see how that looked, that's all. Chicken, come here. Is this even gonna make it to land? I don't even I don't know. I don't think it will. Okay, one more time. Gotta get up there.
So there's a bug in this northern area that I haven't acquired. this work. Oh, I see. Well, I definitely screwed up here. symbol first. Should hopefully be okay. <sighs> nice. <laughs> First try. Ah. Just want to make sure there's no dig spot or something. the sound of the bug. I may already have this one. There's definitely a chest up here. Ah. Let's see it. Uh, 
that's money. <laughs> Unfortunately, already kind of at capacity. Oh, apparently I'm going away from the goal. Okay, well, I still want to look around here. I'm not con- I don't know, like, uh, I- in my mind this is quicker than walking, but it might not be. There's just in so many other games using a movement- a movement thing. Typically means you get there quicker, but I don't know about this. I forgot about this. That had to be correct. Not close enough. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Still more? I'm trying to think where else I've seen one of these. This is probably just gonna be money. Oh, that's nowhere near close enough. Why- why doesn't he ledge grab?
<laughs> Knew it. Okay, where are we going next? There's nothing in Snowden. Okay, uh, let's go to the gorge. cliff over here. Okay, real quick though. Since I see the opportunity here. In a while. At least this one's nice and easy. Oh. Shit. <laughs> there may be there may be two steps here. There are two steps here. I wonder what word it's making. I mean, it's, it, I guess it's a six-letter word. disappointed. Okay. This should be the last one, hopefully. about first-person shooters on console. <laughs> By the time you aim. Okay. That should be the last one. Yeah, ancient book is filled with its missing characters. Okay. Have I started the city in the sky? No. Probably won't. And save that for later. I do want to take a break before 
the evening stream. Oh, apparently it's not allowed past that point. Can I even do anything with this? Doesn't look like it's gonna get me somewhere that I can't reach already. I think this one is just, is what it is. Because the secret, the cave is like down. Okay. Is that the book from last time, hmm? Are there more letters in the word than the last time I looked at this? How did you investigate the... Blank, this is amazing, amazing. Now this must be the word we need. Let's try it immediately. It's taken the same shape as the other statues. What can that mean? And I thought I'd solve the last of the riddles. Blast, how confounding. I must apologize, Lunk. I need to cool off a tad before I mull the problem further. Yeah, that's right, walks away. And <laughs> we just solve it. We don't say, wait, I know what to do. and cannon. Lunk. How in the blazes did you move that statue and what's this? Oh. Amazing, spectacular. This must be the sky cannon I read about in my father's notes. I knew that my intuition was onto something when it led me here, but how can one use this to get to the city in the sky? Cannon, huh? What do you plan to do with this? Except the guy's still watching us. Ah. Perhaps I am in your way? Well, forgive me for not realizing. I should disappear at times like this, really. So let me know the results another time, Lunk. That's kind of funny. Ah, yes. Let me give you one last piece of advice. That seems to be broken, so you show it to a cannon expert. Farewell. I wonder if I put him off. Again, should be using this power more in the context of fighting. Just being able to levitate gigantic objects and throw them. I don't know. Seems useful. <gasps> this 
Hey buddy. So, uh, is that yours? <laughs> hey buddy, I never thought you'd get so hooked on fantastication that you'd try to build your own cannon. So are you gonna give me the tour or what? Looks like you have a serious rig over there. Whoa. It's kind of retro, huh? And there's no ignition device, so you can't even use it. Listen buddy, I suppose I might be able to fix it for you. I mean, maybe. That is if you can pay me 300 rupees in advance, what do you say? Yeah. Heh, <laughs> I knew you'd see the light, buddy. Now, I'll just be a sec. Good, because I needed... <laughs> I needed the use of money. Also, nice montage. We go, buddy. All working as it should, I, I think. It may look like junk, but this thing's got some powerful innards. You're going to be knocking on the door to heavens. Seriously. But it might be rough. So I'm sorry for soaking you for the I'm sorry for soaking you for the dough. Jeez. I'll leave you alone then. Yeah, well, can't just have all the fun you want, okay, buddy? What I think the best dungeon is. I mean, I haven't really finished it yet. The thing is, the one that I remember the most was, um... The Death Mountain Dungeon, just because of the iron boots and the gravity and all that. That's the one that I think sticks with me the most. I had the most fondest memories of that dungeon. And then... The Arbiters ground the boss fight. Not the dungeon, but the boss fight. So those are the two memories that have stuck with me since 2006. The rest of the game kind of faded. I don't really remember this dungeon much. So we'll see. But those two stick out. Yeah, gracious, we made it back, finally. Welcome, adventurer. This is the Sky City of the Uka. Um, since you... Came all this way. I guess I can give you a, a tour of the city. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. These things freak me out just visually. Oh, goodness, brave adventurer. You won't believe it. There's a dragon raging outside the city walls. Oh, I'm terribly worried about everyone. I'm going to check that shop for survivors. Is that the music doing that, or... Is there something legitimately here that's making that sound? I kind of expected that to have money in it. I notice the game does that. Immediately after spending a bunch of money, it just gives you it back. Almost... I don't know. Removing the whole... need... to have that money in the first place. Oh, that's wind. I was like, what? What's going on? It's wind. <laughs> that 
led to the cannon. So they went this way. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, does this really... Okay. I thought for a second it would... Imagine if it sent you all the way down again. the shop, huh? Nothing important. You're a Hylian, no? I speak a little Hylian. You understand me? You see something? Okay, there. Ooh, I'm sorry for early adventure. Ooh, but you're planning on walking around the city and taking it in, right? I'm worried about the others, and this is an emergency. I can't just stand around waiting. Please take me too. I won't Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a dungeon now at this point, so... Okay. We've arrived, but... We're gonna save this for next time, and by next time I mean later. As I'm playing this during the day currently, and I'll play more of it during the evening stream. But I need to take a break, I've been playing for like five hours, practically. <laughs> So, I gotta do some errands, and then I gotta get some dinner, so after that, I'll uh, come back and we'll do more of this, but that won't be for a few hours, so yeah, we'll continue. But I mean, I'm confident I can get through this the rest of the weekend, maybe? We'll see. Anyway, everyone, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far, and yeah. I won't do like the full close thing. I, I gotta go do things. <laughs> but appreciate you for uh, stopping by. I'll see you next time. <laughs>